the rejection by Turkey's highest state-run body responsible for monitoring elections of an appeal by an opposition party to warn President Recep Tayyip Erdogan about violating the constitution and electoral laws has dashed hopes about the fairness of the upcoming election, while casting doubt on the impartiality of the monitoring body. The Supreme Election Board YSK, decided on Tuesday to reject a request by the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party HDP, for a warning to be given to Erdogan over what the HDP said were his blatantly pro-ruling party speeches at a raft of events around the country, most broadcast live on TV networks. It is not possible for the YSK to warn the president on the grounds that presidents cannot be held accountable or that the issue is not within the election watchdog's authority, Attila Kart, a deputy from the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, told today's Zaman. As per the Constitution, a president cannot be prosecuted on any charge other than treason. Underlying that the Constitution authorizes the YSK to ensure the safety and fairness of elections, Cart, a lawyer by profession, added, despite that, it is avoiding carrying out its duty. In its appeal to the election watchdog, the HDP urged the YSK to issue a formal warning to the president, saying, Erdogan has been acting against his constitutional oath of neutrality, and instead is acting as a party leader. In many of the widely televised rallies in recent months, Erdogan has been telling the people to let the ruling party, without directly citing its name, get 400 deputies in parliament in the elections so that a shift to a presidential system can be effected. The YSK cannot turn a blind eye to Erdogan, who, having violated his oath of impartiality in office, has been touring the country like the leader of a political party, Emin Haylaki Han, deputy chairman of the Nationalist Movement Party, MHP, told today's Zaman. Turkey will have its parliamentary election on June 7. Although Erdogan has dismissed claims that he has lost his neutrality as president, saying that he has never uttered the name of any party in his speeches, the only party that has been calling for a shift to the presidential system is the ruling Justice and Development Party, AK Party. The opposition parties, including the three represented in Parliament, are not in favour of a shift to a presidential system. Erdogan, who strongly supports a switch, wants the AK party to have a parliamentary majority sufficient enough to amend the constitution to clear the way to replace the current parliamentary system. Erdogan, one of the founders of the ruling party, headed it for many years as prime minister until his election as president in August of last year. Calling on the YSK to use its powers to ensure fairness during the election, the MHPC Han warned, should the YSK continue to be a mere spectator to what's going on, claiming that it is not authorized to deal with the issue, it will be held accountable before the law. As per the Constitution, the YSK is authorized to see that elections are held in a free and fair way. Article 79 of the Constitution says, the Supreme Board of Elections shall execute all the functions to ensure the fair and orderly conduct of elections from the beginning to the end, carry out investigations and take final decisions, during and after the elections, on all irregularities, complaints and objections concerning electoral matters, and receive the electoral records of the members of the Grand National Assembly of Turkey and presidential election. Ergun Osbudun, a professor of constitutional law at Stanbul Seir University, is also of the opinion that the election rallies the president has been holding are a violation of the impartiality required by the constitution. The president's speeches damage the fairness of the upcoming election, he told today's Zaman. After being elected president by popular vote, Erdogan praised in his speeches the record of the AK party, pointing to newly built roads and hospitals, while launching stinging attacks on rival political parties, accusing them of making unrealistic promises in their election manifestos. But in contrast to the two opposition figures, Osbudun believes the YSK cannot be accused of not doing its duty as the watchdog is not legally equipped with powers to issue a warning to the president. I don't think the YSK can issue a statement to warn the president, he said, noting that the measures the YSK could legally take in such a case are not enumerated in the law. This is why a decision by the YSK on the topic would be a political one, Osbudun added. According to the CHP's cart, the YSK could have said in a statement that the president's remarks mean unjustly asking for ballots for the ruling party. 
such a statement would then pave the way, with all public officials being obliged to observe a court verdict, for prosecutors to initiate an investigation into the president if Erdogan continues to act in the same manner, Cart said. Despite the impunity a president enjoys as per the constitution, the CHP deputy believes the preparation of a judicial investigation against the president would be possible. The main opposition CHP also filed a complaint with the Radio and Television Supreme Council, RTUK, on Tuesday against Erdogan for being involved in politics, abusing religion and openly targeting opposition parties. In reference to Erdogan's speeches in Batman and Diyarbakir on March 2 and in Siirt on March 4, the CHP said in its appeal that Erdogan violated his impartiality as president and asked for votes for the ruling AK party. Erdogan has been under harsh criticism since being elected president that he has failed to remain neutral in office. As per the constitution, a president is required to cut off all his ties with his party and serve impartially. Erdogan is involved in politics as if he were the de facto CEO chair of the ruling party, MHP leader Bosley said in an election rally on Wednesday. The CHP's cart also made a personal appeal to the country's top court, the Constitutional Court, against Erdogan for violating the fairness and equality of the election. This is a violation of a right to the detriment of the opposition parties, Cart stressed. If the top court decides that what Erdogan has been doing constitutes a violation of the right to fair and equal elections for the opposition, then Erdogan would need to toe the line with the court's verdict. Farouk E. Virgin, a lawyer, also recently submitted an appeal to the election monitoring body calling it to instruct RTUK to warn television channels not to broadcast live rallies Erdogan holds ahead of the elections. Noting that Erdogan's remarks favoring the ruling party represent a violation of the constitution and that Erdogan himself recently admitted that his rallies are financed by public money, E. Virgin told today's Zaman that the YSK cannot turn a blind eye to what's going on saying that it is not authorized to ban the president's rallies.